Hey guys, it's Dan from Wilderness the Great Baco again. I'm so excited with another debunking of shiznit on the internet. I love this stuff. <laughs> now, before we go further, I would like to add, and I've said this before in a previous one, I do enjoy this stuff. I'm not here to badmouth anyone or upset anyone. If I do, you know, I don't apologize. <laughs> but no, honestly, I do enjoy this kind of stuff. I've always enjoyed ghost videos, paranormal videos, paranormal investigations. I like watching that stuff. But it's always funny to pick out, pick out the inconsistencies and the clear bollocksness of the videos. <laughs> I try not to come across as mean, I don't think I am. But, you know, they have to be pointed out. They have to be pointed out for logic. So anyway. First one um, is not so much a ghost, it's a ball lightning which I've been seeing over social media the last few days. It was uploaded through TikTok, that should give you give it away for a start. But if you look at it, you'll see it going across, you'll see the reflections on the tracks and the ground below. None on the uh, lampposts and the trees and anything else. Um, Anyone who knows anything sensible will clearly see as fake. There's a lot of people believing this real. There are many giveaways in that video which you could see which is fake. Or you could just Google for 30 seconds, find the original uploader, and see that he's put CGI in the title. <laughs> With people in his comments still saying, it's fake, it's not real. No shit, Sherlock. This is the kind of magic you find online sometimes. <laughs> Next one is the CCTV and it's from a Malaysia CCTV. And in it you can see a kid crouching down by the gates, the front gates of this, I guess a hotel or something. Or a kid-like shape I should say. And then the next one is a kid running across. And the chair gets pulled towards the camera and you can hear this chair by the way which you rarely have sound on CCTV I should add mysterious it's very mysterious but again five minutes of googling you can just go to the original uploader's twitter profile and realize he's a Malaysian filmmaker who is currently here on his ninth episode of a horror series called Sembilan by Astro Go Go and this footage is directly from that series. But it's mysterious. It's mysterious and it's magic. That's why it's a ghost video. <laughs> right, this next one is from a paranormal urban exploring YouTube channel called Moxley's Crazy Adventures or something like that. I've seen this a few times. It's, it's, it's on par with Brookside. <laughs> But basically, they're exploring an abandoned farmhouse, and the woman who's with them gets pulled in into the room and starts screaming, "Bloody Mary!" Screaming for her life. What the fuck? I do, I do like how the um, the guy who's trying to get in, who's, I'm sure he's not holding the door, but the guy who's trying to get in eventually gets in with the flick of his fingers like he's bloody Jedi Master. He just force pushes the door with his fingers. Oh. No, I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. <laughs> If you were dragged into a room kicking and screaming for your life, would you just get up? No, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm not really not happy at all. No, not one bit. Now you could say, just say she's just not phased by it, but she was clearly phased 10 seconds ago and she was screaming for her life. You know, it would be traumatizing. <laughs> Right, this next one is, I think it's from Mexico, I think, if I remember correctly. But it's about a kid who's just playing around in his cupboards. And then you see a little hand, little grey hand come into view right there. 
first of all, the the footage is like a low frame rate on a potato camera, and the 3D hand which comes in is like a lot higher frame rate. And I've worked extensively with 3D back in the day. Back many years ago, I used to work a lot with 3D. And you can clearly see that the, when the hand comes in, it stops, and then it's almost like it's rigged. <laughs> it's the, the hand is clearly way too fluid and it stops almost on the dot. There's no swaying, there's no like normal natural movement. It looks like it's rigged from a 3D um, a 3D rigging model. Or hand or hand animated, one of those. Hand but it's clearly 3D and it's just blended into the footage. It's quite easily seen. And this next one, like I said in previous videos, a lot of popular videos now come from the Middle East. Uh, ghost hunting videos, they became popular about six or seven months ago. And since then, you've had hundreds, hundreds of ghost videos come from the Middle East. And, you know, here a water tank goes flying. It's clearly someone behind it. <laughs> You know, it's, it cut the camera and when he gets closer, cuts just about enough so he cl his mate, his mate, clearly his mate, runs out the door. It's quite funny. <laughs> but I love, the, I love these videos, I love them. Like I said, I, I enjoy ghost videos, I enjoy paranormal investigations. Not once do I ever think they're ghosts, but I do enjoy them. And it's always quite funny trying to figure them out. Most of them you can figure out in 10 seconds flat. Some of them you think, hmm, how do, how do they do that? How do they do that? But there's always a way to figure it out. Just common sense of logic. I love it. <laughs> but that was a short one. That was my, um, I'm going to do these quite often. I, I, I enjoy spreading educational common sense. I enjoy it. Not to say you don't have to en enjoy these kind of videos. Like I said, I do enjoy them. And, you know, who doesn't get freaked out by a creepy ghost video? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. That was my brief debunking of ghost videos with logic. Part 2. Do you do these videos scare you? Do you look at these videos and laugh? Or do you look at these videos and think, oh shit, and go into the comment section? I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I will be back sometime soon with another similar kind of video in the near future. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.